Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for May 20th through the 26th. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Sometimes it will be, sometimes it won't. This is for Cancer. What do we got? What do we have for the sign of Cancer? Ooh, you have the power. You have the power to change your circumstances to get whatever you want at this time. You are in control. There's something happening, something that may be happening very fast. Maybe you manifested it. Maybe you called it into existence. I'm not sure. But this is having the power. This is like your wish being granted. No kidding. As above, so below. So this is communication. This is moving forward very quickly. Fast forward. That's what it is. I hope you're ready. Nine of Cups reversed. You know, Nine of Cups reversed is pretty good. It means things are looking up. This is think about it and wish for it. It's funny that I just said that because that's what this is. It's like a wish is some sort of wish is being granted. Deep fulfillment is coming. If you're single, you could be meeting somebody. Just saying that you will have a deep connection with. Real love is coming soon, okay? Knight of Cups. I mean, I can't make it up. You know that I can't. So this is this is a, an offer of love or a relationship stepping it up to the next level. So this does have to do with a relationship. Deep connection too. It's going to be a strong spiritual connection perhaps. Divine connection. It's like it's almost well, I'm going to get some more cards. No, it's going to happen fast. It is happening fast, or it's going to happen fast. It's like you're not even going to want to think about it, or you're not going to need to think about it. It's going to be a deep connection, whatever it is. Ooh, the emperor reversed. Something you may not be able to control. Okay, the urge. You may not be able to control the urge. It's out of your control. You may not be able to refrain yourself. This is very impulsive energy. The devil, this is take the reverse. This is breaking free, taking back control of your life. This is a card of personal freedom. Uh, this is getting out of an unhealthy situation, but because huh. it's reversed. I mean, the devil reversed. This is going to be. It's like it's like it's not going to be toxic, right? It's not going to be. It's probably a healthy connection. It is. Page of Wands reversed. Ooh, I mean, the Page of Wands reversed is try not to get too distracted. You may get distracted. Now, this can also be not the best news, so I'm, I'm we're going to have to get some more cards to go with this. But somebody may have been dealing with somebody that wasn't well suited with for them. I mean, that's another meaning of the Page of, of Wands reversed. They may have been dealing with somebody that wasn't their perfect match, and now they've taken back control of their lives. You know, they're moving very quickly in a new direction. Wish fulfillment. I can't make this up. You guys are about this. I said now we've, I've said the word wish three times. So it's like some sort of wish is being granted. This is this is a blessing. Some sort of blessing after perhaps breaking the ties with somebody that you weren't well suited for. I mean, I got to be honest with you here. And maybe that has happened because whoever you were dealing with was too controlling or they were manipulative or whatever. Justice reversed. Bad karma. Bad, bad. Somebody wasn't acting with integrity. Somebody wasn't telling the truth. Somebody wasn't doing the right thing. Things have been unbalanced. Things have been unharmonious. Somebody hasn't been getting what they deserve, but I think it's all about to change, okay? Really fast. Really fast. Um, there's been, somebody has been in, involved in an unjust situation. 
there's been some sort of unfairness here. Perhaps somebody didn't want to be held accountable for their actions or whatever, but I think that, you know, this is, this is taking back control. So I think, Cancer, you are taking back control of your life or whatever you're doing. You're breaking free from something that wasn't well suited for you. That's what I see. You may have been clinging to control for some time with whoever this person was, but I see you breaking that and heading right towards some sort of blessing. I'm not kidding. It's like you've manifested, you've called in some sort of, it's like a miracle. It is, it is. I'm sorry. I don't know what this is, but yeah, there's some unfinished business. I wonder if there's, there's, there's unfinished business with, well, you have a gold, I don't know who the unfinished business with, but, but you do, there's unfinished business with somebody. Maybe it's somebody that you have a deep bond with, deep bond with. Maybe there's going to be communication going back and forth with this person, fast, rapid communication. It's exciting too. But there's a golden opportunity here, a big one, big, huge opportunity for something. I mean, look at how big that is, that ace of pen. You've manifested something. This is huge. It's something you can bank on. It's something you can save. It's something solid. It's something long term. It's something you can really hold on to. It's a, it's a wish. It's a, something you have been wishing for, praying for. <sighs> You may have been thinking about it quite, quite a bit. You know, your thoughts truly do become things, especially with that very first card right here and this one. These are both cards of manifestation. And this is, see him thinking. He's been thinking about this love, thinking about it, thinking about a relationship, thinking about taking back control, thinking about the deep bond, thinking about the wish fulfillment, thinking about uh, going after it, thinking about taking it. I think we have somebody here that is ready to seize that opportunity coming out of the darkness. This is what the five of cups, I mean, five of coins reversed. This is coming out of the darkness. It's, it's the time of recovery. It's like seeing the truth, seeing the truth in a love connection. So huh, I feel like we have somebody here that is about to face their insecurities and come out of a really dark period and go into some sort of relationship that they've been wishing for. There's been a serious time of contemplation, but I think that time is over. I feel like we have somebody here that's really been wanting to come out of the darkness. Perhaps somebody was ghosted, okay, with the five of coins. They were left in the dark, you know, they were left in the cold. And this is like going back. I want to go back to heal this situation. So this could be a reconciliation. I'm just being honest with you. This is carrying a heavy burden. Somebody has been carrying a heavy burden. They've been overwhelmed overwhelmed with the heaviness that this situation has caused and I think they're ready they're ready to take it off their back they're ready to, to you know cut it they're ready to you know break free of this overwhelming feeling of it's almost like of dread Somebody has been holding on and they're not ready to let go they it's like they want to come back and I think they want to communicate. Now, I don't know if this could be somebody new. It could be, but for, I'm feeling, I don't know why, I'm feeling like this is somebody, because there's unfinished business, that's why. Somebody's still holding on. There's unfinished business. Something needs to be settled. I don't know what the hell this is. Yep. Somebody hasn't been really focusing on a relationship. They haven't been putting energy into a relationship, and I think, and this is going right here, now they're taking action. This is taking action. This is taking action to bring success. Somebody's been in a relationship with somebody that wasn't well suited for them. And it's like, I feel like they've severed the ties with that. And they want to go after the relationship that they've been wishing for. And there's, they've been reluctant to move forward because of fear. You know, fear of rejection. Fear of uh, conflict, you know. I feel as though... They may, they may sense that there's some sort of competition here. You know, they, they got competition to deal with, and maybe that's why they've been reluctant to move forward. We have somebody here that has really been really struggling. Plus, there's been a lot of people in the mix that have been um, basically meddling, you know, um, 
putting in their two cents where their two cents doesn't belong. They, they don't, you know, have anything good to say, whoever these people are. They don't, they don't know the, all the circumstances. They shouldn't be saying anything. But I think this per somebody here in this dynamic has been listening to these people. But I think that's just about over because we're dealing with an empress here. This empress is beautiful. She's the giver of life. She is the giver of life. And whoever this is that is, is approaching knows that. This is unconditional love. This is beautiful. This is gentle. This is compassionate. This is a creator. This is a healer. This is a lover. This is unconditional love. I feel like we have somebody here that is a little bit fearful, though. They're fearful because I think that they treated another person unfairly with that justice reverse. They didn't want to be held accountable for their actions. Now they've been overwhelmed with some sort of karma, which includes burden. You know, <laughs> karma will hit you in many different ways. Somebody has been overburdened with their karma or their... insecurities, their discontent. They've been overwhelmed with their feelings. You know, it is. It is feelings. It is feelings. They're, they're true feelings for this person who they know is unconditional love. They know this is, you know, the giver of life. This is this is nurturing. I mean, this this person is very nurturing. This person will, will do anything, anything to make a relationship grow. So... I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus or a Libra or you have a Gemini. You have Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Anyway, there's unfinished business with that world card reversed. That is unfinished business. And I feel like there's going to be fast forward movement. It's exciting. Um... It's like all of a sudden somebody takes action after being fearful. It's like they just have this impulsive moment where they decide to deal with the conflict and go after this beautiful um, opportunity. It really is beautiful. Whoever this person is, this person has dealt with a lot of pain. They have a lot of life experience and they know their value and they know their worth. So whoever this person is that's coming in sees that. They see the beauty of this empress. So it looks to me as like they're crawling back. They're, it's, like, it's like they're slowly getting closer and closer and closer. You see, I just noticed the crawling. It's like a, they come crawling back. They don't want you to let go. They, maybe they see that you they have competition. They, they want to put into the relationship. There's been a lot of time invested in this, whatever it is. This is investment. Hard work pays off. It's picking time. It's harvest time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It is time. Because she has multiple options, this empress. There is competition for her. Rest assured, there absolutely is. So, um... <laughs> multiple options. So, anyway, um... I feel like we have somebody here that is ready. They're ready to pick. They're ready. They know it's time. They've waited for the right time. They've waited for things to come to uh, they waited for the right time okay things have grown now it's time it's time it's time to harvest it's time seven Whew. I think that somebody um, has lost a love they have they've lost a friendship as well they've lost a love and they've lost a friendship it's because they didn't put in effort to a relationship it's like they gave up when they should have stuck around And now they've been overwhelmed with their stupid decision. And now they're making a decision to choose some different path. They've made poor decisions. They're stupid decisions. Yeah, somebody made a stupid, poor decision. And their life has been turned upside down. They've been overwhelmed because of it. And now, they well, they have been avoiding challenge, right? They've been, they've been avoiding the challenge. But and I think now... And they've had a lot of great personal fear and worry. And I think now they're, they're ready to, uh, well, they're making a decision. 
But they're probably really afraid. They're probably really afraid because whoever they're dealing with is... Assertive, aggressive, doesn't back down. So we have somebody here that wants to go after wish fulfillment. The star card's under there. They see wish fulfillment. They see beauty. But they're afraid. They're intimidated. They're intimidated by this person's power. They know that it's time. They know that they have that this person has multiple options. They feel like they've lost the love. They feel like they've lost the friendship. But now they want to take action because they know that it's time because everybody wants her. And soon enough, she's probably going to make a choice. Okay, whoever this person is. she's She's got multiple options and, I mean, it is what it is. So anyway, I feel as though we have somebody here that is about definitely going to communicate with that Eight of Wands and that Knight of Wands. And they're, they're moving very quickly because they see, they see that, you know... It's time. You know, the Empress, she, she, she's, she's, reached the, she's reached delivery. She, it's, it's about ready. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time, to, to, it's time to deliver. It's time to deliver. It's time for the reward. It's time for... She's ready. She's ready for her miracle. She's ready for her new life. She is ready. And whoever this is that's coming in knows that. So be prepared, Cancer. If you are the female, somebody is coming in quickly. If you are in a coupled relationship, things are probably stepping it up to the next level. You could be getting engaged. You could be getting married, whatever. If you are single, if you are the single male Cancer watching this, you are probably approaching an empress. You're, you're approaching her. You are approaching her because you probably realize that, you know, it's time. She has multiple options. And if you don't, you're going to lose. You're going to have to face your fears. Okay? Let go of that overwhelming fear. I understand that this person is probably intimidating, but it's because she's been hurt. She has been hurt. She has dealt with pain. She has life experience. And, you know, people react from pain. But will sh this person give them a chance? That's a darn good question now, isn't it? Oh. Mm. Well, she's very practical. And she's devoted. This person is practical. This person is devoted. This person is down to earth. They're generous. She'll probably listen, he or she, whatever. This person will listen, but will follow their intuition. See that third eye up there? Very uh, intuitive. Ooh, seven of swords reversed. This is getting caught. Be careful, the truth is coming out. Well, the truth, she, the truth will need to come out. Be careful. That she's going to want the truth. Whoever this person is is going to want the truth. <sighs> now, this is holding on. This is obsess obsession. Somebody may be obsessed. They may be obsessed with holding on. And the death card reversed as well. Somebody doesn't want to let another person go. And they've been, it's like they've been watching. Seriously. They've been watching. You may catch them watching you. It's, they love you, whoever this is. Somebody is coming in because they love you. They love you. That's all there is to it. Be prepared. Get prepared. This is, this is somebody coming in. They want to have a relationship. They, they want to be with you. They see your beauty. They see your worth. And they're, I think they're ready to, 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 to speak the truth because they know you're going to want the freaking truth, okay? Whatever that is. If you are the male watching this, I feel as though you're going to have to come with the truth. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't know. Um, if you are the male watching this, you probably have a choice between two women. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. So it's my, most likely a Taurus and a Libra. Could be a Gemini because we have Gemini up here as well. So Taurus, Gemini, Libra are my guesses or who you're dealing with mainly. That's my guesses. I mean, it could be anybody else, but we mostly have Taurus and Libra and Gemini. Be careful. You could end up falling in love all over again. If you've been single, you probably won't be single for long. If you are in a coupled relationship, I mean, i got to be honest, this card can mean one of two things. It can mean more than that, but you could be going your own way or you could be getting in a relationship. Somebody doesn't want to be alone or they don't, you know, I don't want to be alone anymore. So anyway, be prepared for a new life. I mean, this is the birth of a new life. So that is the meaning. I mean, this is the birth of a new life. Could be a rebirth of a relationship because of this and this. Okay? It's time. That's what I see. It's time to, it's time. Somebody's, it's like it's about ready, the things are about ready to pop. This person is about ready to pop, whoever it is. They, they're, they're obsessed. It's like they're obsessed. They want this union. They want this relationship. They want this partnership. They want it to grow. They, they want this connection. And I think that they've done something stupid. And now they've got to come clean. Seriously. So be prepared. Be prepared. Especially if you are this empress. Or if you're the, the male as well. This is the male taking action. This is the male taking action towards the empress. That's what we got here. So that's what it is. Good luck. Bye.